Hey everyone, my name is Johnny Davenport, and before I jump in and start showing you how to work with my new Johnny Style preset pack, I just wanted to take a moment to personally thank you. Thank you for choosing and using On One Software. I've been with the company now going on a decade, and one of the coolest things I've been able to do is create these film preset packs based on my personal experience using and shooting a variety of different films through the years. I hope you dig them, and I look forward to connecting with you on social media or in the Plus Forum. I've got some new stuff coming out later in the year I think you're going to dig. Thanks again. I hope you enjoy the video. Cheers. Hey everybody, so let's jump right in. Today I'm going to be showing you how to work with and edit some of the presets I've created for my new SFO preset collection pack. Here I am in grid view within Browse. Uh, I'm looking at a uh, folder of images that are on my desktop containing some of my San Francisco imagery. So I'm going to select an image here. And uh, I'm a big fan of keyboard shortcuts. So if I tap the E key, E is in Edward, I can go into Fit View. Or if I want to go back to Grid View, I just tap the G key, G is in Gregory, will take me right back. But one of the cool features with On One Photo Raw 18 is the ability to apply presets directly from within Browse. So I don't need to go into another module like Develop or Effects to easily apply these creative styles to my images. So here on the left hand side, I'm just going to click on the Presets tab. This will then show me all the presets that are installed on my system. And I have access to these presets here in Browse and also in Develop and within Effects. But here I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go to the Johnny Style SFO preset pack. I'm going to click that and that will open up and then show me a preview of uh, those particular presets with my selected image within grid view. So here's the picture of Coit Tower then with my different looks applied to that particular image. If I want to view a larger thumbnail, I'll just click on the Quick View browser, this little icon right here, and that will open up a larger preview of the presets applied to my image. So I'm going to choose this Soma preset right here, and I'm just going to single click that. And that will now apply to my selected image within Browse. And again, if I want to see a larger preview of that image, I'll just tap the E key to go to Fit View. Now let's go over into Effects and I'll show you how you can edit this preset. So here I'll click on the Effects tab. So now here we are in effects and over here on the right side you will see then the different filters that I've used to create this particular preset. So I'll scroll back up here. This is the borders filter that I used and if I scroll down you'll see I used a bleach bypass filter. I used a color enhancer filter and then down here the dynamic contrast filter. Little insider tip, if you don't want to see all these panes opened, you can see that's a, some scrolling, I can enable what's called solo mode. I'm going to come over here to the window menu and I'm going to enable solo mode. This collapses all the panes that I'm not working with. Currently I'm in the dynamic contrast filter, which is the first one I used. And if I hover over, you can see I get little tool tips then sort of giving me some guidance on how to use these particular elements of this particular filter. So let's go back up to the borders because this is a common one that I hear from people is that I'm not a fan of edges, I'm not a fan of borders. Well, so maybe you don't like that particular element with this preset, with my Soma preset here. So I can preview what it will look like by clicking this little button on the left here and that will disable the border. I can show it on or off. Maybe I like it, but I want to adjust the size. So down here I can adjust the scale. If I want a larger white border or if I want a smaller white border. 
And if I'm clipping the image, parts of the image that I want to keep, I can actually shrink the image down a bit by adjusting the Fit Image tab here. But let's say I don't want the border at all. So I'm going to come back up here, and if I click this X button, it will completely remove this border from my image. So I like that. Let's go without a border on this. But maybe I want to do some further refining. I notice that my whites are pretty bright. So I'm going to add a tone enhancer filter here. So I click on the add filter button and then come over here and click tone enhancer. Now I can bring down my exposure if I want to darken it up just a bit. If I want to bring down my highlight and bring down my whites just a bit. You can see I can darken up the image just a bit. Maybe I want to open up the blacks a bit. So I can just adjust that. And if I do want to see what the original image looked like before I applied this preset, I can click the preview button here. That's the original image. Or I can press the slash key, which is up above the return enter key and that's a great keyboard shortcut for enabling the preview before and after. Or I can also do a side-by-side -side preview here. If I click down here in the bottom, I can get a before and after. So very easy ways to get previews uh, of the image that you are working so on. So here I am back in Browse. And maybe I want to take this settings that I've applied to this one image and apply it to all my images within this folder. Very quick, easy way to do that. I'm going to select all my images. I'm going to press Command A or Control A on the PC. And once I do that, then I'm just going to right click here on that image that I applied that Soma borderless preset to. And I'm going to say Sync Settings. This will quickly apply that stylized look to all my images within this folder. Thanks for watching. I hope watching this video gave you some tips on how to further edit my personal presets to better fit your needs.